There's an ancient story told in the Solomon Islands about how the world came to be. It describes how a serpent spirit called a gunua created the land, sea, and sky. He created the first man as a brother for himself. A gunua gave him a single yam and told him to cut the yam into pieces and scatter the pieces on the earth. From the pieces of the yam grew every kind of plant and animal. And that was the beginning of all life on Earth. For millennia, creation stories like that were at the heart of many cultures, explaining not only the origin of life, but in some cases, when it began. As recently as the 1800s, many devout Westerners believed the Earth was just 10,000 years old, with all life on the planet unchanged from the moment of its divine creation. Then, in 1859, came a revolutionary book. Charles Darwin's Origin of Species suggested the Earth was more than 10,000 years old, as many scientists then believed. But he also said that plants and animals changed over time through a process he called natural selection. Darwin went on to claim that all organisms, every living thing on Earth, came from one common ancestor. He portrayed this bold idea in the form of a family tree, with every place the tree branches signifying the birth of a new species. Making sense of the Earth's diversity means understanding what happens at these branching points. Today, scientists call this process speciation. Everywhere around us, we see the results of speciation, including the human species evolving from other primates. But exactly how this diversity of species came about remains a mystery. Darwin explained how an existing species could adapt to its environment, but his theory was still incomplete. You know, Darwin did this incredible job of describing how species change over time, but in his book, right, The Origin of Species, it sort of left a question mark about where those lines started. That is, where do species really come from? By the early 20th century, Biologists believe that the answers to how new species appear would be found in the Solomon Islands, an archipelago of islands in the South Pacific. It was here in the late 1920s that Dr. Ernst Meyer took one of the major steps toward completing Darwin's theory. Ernst Meyer is usually considered the greatest evolutionary biologist since Darwin, and he's especially known in the 20th century for having essentially solved the problem of how species originate. The theme of Darwin's book, but a question that Darwin himself never answered. <laughs> 